Good morning, Bamboo Bay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's in progress. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> okay, so this morning we're going to have to go down here, crossing this river to come up on the other bank here, fall over about there, give up, take a flight home. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. We're here at a small campsite near the village of Yust Sema in the Altai region of eastern Russia and look at the scene behind us. We camped next to this beautiful river and this beautiful forest behind. Yeah, we had actually a really good night. It was quite raining during the night, but the raindrops on our tent were quite... Um... Soothing. <laughs> yeah. Like you go on YouTube and you search like bedtime relaxing background <laughs> sounds. This is what it was. <laughs> so we have only two rides left here in Russia before we reach the border to Kazakhstan, which is really good because our visa is very close to expiring. The plan for today is to reach at least the city of Barnau, which is about four hours away. If we can get a little bit further, it would be even better. So we still have to pick up everything and it's already nine o'clock. So better hit the road, let's go. Goodbye, peaceful river. <sighs> Rib update, still hurts. <sighs> but a little bit less than yesterday, which is good. All right, I'll see you in Kazakhstan. <laughs> With the suspension broken, it's actually easier to get the bike up, right? Wow, look at this now, the sun's coming out. It's just beautiful, hey? It was raining a little bit this morning as well. So I'm so glad that just as we're about to leave, it just seems to be brightening up. Maybe we won't get wet today. Okay, let's go. Yoo. Update, our suspension is still broken. Ribs still broken. It's suspension like the, still broken. Yeah, it's like in the worst condition. Such a big surprise how quickly uh, the suspension broke. But anyway, we have just two days left here in Russia. In Kazakhstan, we will have a visa, which probably is for like 30 days or something. So we have the time to fix it. Yeah, at the moment, whatever happens, we just have to keep going. We do not want to overstay. So yeah, not a lot of time left. We really, really just got to get through the next two days. Broken <laughs> ribs, broken suspension and all. We just have to make it to Kazakhstan. Yeah. And we're still surrounded by the beautiful tiger forest. Just look at this place. It is literally a wilderness forest mountain paradise here in Altai. Yeah, Altai is so far one of my favorite regions actually. It's just so lush, so mountainous. The rivers are beautiful. Oh look, I think we're gonna cross one of the rivers now. The river Katyih or Kat Katyir. Katyir. Ta -da! Oh wow, look at that. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's a big fast flowing river coming straight down from the glaciers. Yeah, I mean, can't get better than that. Yeah, amazing. I mean, this is just a land of mountains, forests, rivers and bears. This is Siberia, baby. <laughs> I had to do a quick turn around to show you guys this place. Look at this. It's an upside down house. What is going on? That's really, really funny. I've <laughs> never ever seen anything like that in my life. What? Look at this place. <laughs> there's a car, there's a tram, there's some street lights. Wow. Look, there's a reception here, which is also upside down. <laughs> do you think the inside is also upside down? Do you want to have a look inside? Oh, cool. So this is the kids' room. Wow, nice. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Oh. Look, the whole building is like on an angle. It's kind of freaky, hey? Yeah, freaky. It makes me feel a little bit sick. Yeah, it's weird, hey? It's like gravity is off. The bedroom. 
Oh wow, it's totally weird when you stand and you just see the room. <sighs> okay, let's go upstairs. Oh look, there's a gorilla! <laughs> Yeah, the brain doesn't really like that, you know? My brain is like, what's going on here? <laughs> kind of makes me feel a bit sick. Nice. Bathroom. Oh, do you think if I played this entire video upside down, it would look like we're walking on the roof? Okay, I'm going to do that. This is a real test of wife material. Whoa, here we go. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Bye bye! <laughs> That's such a cool place! <laughs> it was actually cooler than I expected. I think the best thing is the pictures that you can take in there <laughs> are so funny. It's so funny! Huh? It was like really, really fun. That was cool. Is that gourmet or what? So we've left the mountains behind mm. and it's mad busy here. We've basically just been following like a line of traffic for the whole day. We've done a hundred miles now and we've got about another hundred to get to Barnau, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. A little bit of a different ride than yesterday, that's for sure. Still stuck behind a lot of cars and trucks, but I have important news for you guys. We just hit 36,000 miles on the road. <laughs> Bumblebee is still bleeding. I thought actually all the oil was gone already, but apparently Bumblebee is still dripping oil. It's really, really bouncy now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. I hope we can get a replacement in Almaty. After today, four more rides. And then Bumblebee gets a complete new service, a new shock. We will clean it up perfectly that we can make sure the bumblebee will make it all the way back home fingers crossed so it is not looking very good ahead here is rain and over here is rain there is blue skies oh, i think we're starting to get wet already yeah so i get some drops as well yeah and i can see now the cars coming the other way i've got their windscreen wipers on I reckon it's time for us to stop and put our rain gear on. Wah, 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 wah. Let's do it. All wrapped up. Ready to go. I'm not really ready to go, but I'm going to go anyway. We're just heading out of Barnell now. We decided that we would push on through 
and get a little bit closer to the Kazakhstan border just to make our day tomorrow a little bit easier. So we're going to be heading to a town which is about 70 miles further towards the border and the GPS says that's going to take us another hour and a half. Yes and tomorrow it's then two and a half hours to the border and then about one hour 45 to the next place where we gonna have a rest for a couple of days we've made really good progress we've already done 200 miles today the mountains have disappeared yeah the mountains disappeared the road got bigger and busier so we may as well just make distance to be honest yep We're coming into the town of Alniesk. Alniesk? Alniesk. We checked on Google Maps. They have a couple of hotels here. So yeah. hopefully we can find something. But first, we have something else to do. Ah, yes, yes. A far more important mission than finding accommodation. It looks like it's open. So we just stopped at this place and this place is actually a pizza place! Yay! And we successfully ordered a pizza but then she told me it's like 40 minutes waiting time So anyway, we ordered the pizza, we said no worries We will head now to the hotel first and then in 40 minutes we go back and pick up our nice vegetarian pizza Very soon we're going to be chilling in a room with a pizza which I'm very excited about. My ribs are still pretty killing me to be honest but anyway one more day and we are in kazakhstan and then we can have a real good rest yeah this is kind of funny no imagine you have like a giant pipe outside the front of your house yeah. wow oh looks like there's a military place here oh just here yeah yeah i saw tons of military people back streets of Alniesk. Exactly. <laughs> the bouncy back streets. Yeah. Wow. The whole day was totally fine. Now we're taking this one road and we are just bouncing around like crazy. <laughs> oh man. Really hope we can get it fixed. Okay, let's hope that the place where we're trying to get to is real. Okay, it looks like it's somewhere here. It's basically next to the railway. What? Yeah, apparently so. Oh yeah, maybe it's this one over there. Here? Yeah, this orange one here. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think it's this one here. But yeah, like you said, it's like right there, right next to the railway. <laughs> it is, it is literally, I mean, it's the railway here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, let me check out the price. Oh, this really is like the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Five minutes later. So this was unfortunately a no-go. She just looked at me and said, Niet, Niet. And I'm like, what Niet? Full? <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 Niet, Niet. So either she didn't want to give us a room or there were no rooms available, but I'm not 100% sure which one. So let's just pray that the next hotel will have some rooms for us. Yeah, there aren't very many hotels in town, so yeah, we don't have a lot of options. So yeah, yeah fingers crossed on the next one. 15 minutes later. So yeah, there was a no-go as well. Yeah, second hotel, uh, fully booked apparently. Yeah, I don't know, I think that the hotels here are just booking out all of their rooms to workers or in this case, military people. Yeah, so the whole town is actually pretty much full with military people. Yeah. So anyway, we're back at the pizza place. We're going to pick up our pizzas. Yeah. And then we're going to have to move to another town because yeah. there is no options here. Pizza! Sladziva! We looked on the map and it seems like the next hotels are 59 miles down the road in the next big town. Oh yes, okay, sure. Nice. Thank yes. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, that looks like an awesome pizza. It's full of stuff. Mm. I really needed that. Absolutely unsuccessful in this town. And we didn't want to ride around too much because there were a lot of military people in this town and we thought it's a good idea just to move on. We are quite tired, but there is another place an hour away from here. So we're just eating our pizza here on the side of the road now. And then uh, we move on. That's the plan. So there's a symbol for a bed here. It says 400 meters. Yeah, let's check it out, hey? Bed this way. <laughs> okay, bed this way. That's exactly yes. what we want. Exactly. And come on, there's like nobody here. There's like two cars and one truck. If they don't have space for us, then they don't build hotels properly in Russia, is all I can say. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I just want a bed so badly. Привет. Как дела? Hello. Anglia, Germania. Anglia. Oh. Hey, good to meet you. We saw you there on the signs. Oh, sorry, I'm not speaking Russian. Not Russian. Party man. I don't know what that means. Party, party man. Party man. No English? No, no English. Very good words, right? You sleep here? No, I don't know. Dom, where? Группцов туда мы пойдем. Мы живем дальше. Вы Казахстанцы? Yeah, we sleep here. And tomorrow Kazakhstan, Sem ah. Seme, Seme. А откуда оттуда едет? Европа, Африка, Бразил, Америка, Канада. Под дождь попали, под дождь. Попали? А мы попали по очень сильный дождь. У нас Вы молоденькие, блядь, Братушка. Спасибо, спасибо. Вам спасибо, вам спасибо. <laughs> yes, they had a room for us, thank God. And it's not a bad room, and it was only 10 pounds for the night. And the lady here, she even made our beds, like everything is nice, fresh, washed. It's so cool, I'm so happy. Yeah, because I was a little bit worried before, like all the hotels in that town were fully booked. And although the people there, the locals, they seemed so friendly. Like seriously, they came up to us, they asked us a lot of questions, they were really smiling, hugging us, they were so happy to see us. But on the other side, it was full with military people as well. So it's like this big contrast. I just didn't feel really comfortable being there with all these military around. I was just like, this is not the right town to stay in. We gotta move on, we gotta move on. <laughs> yes, and we did, and we found this lovely place here. We will have breakfast tomorrow morning here as well, I think. <laughs> yeah, because it's a cafe yes. with a hotel, yes. and it wasn't even on Google Maps, it wasn't on iOverlander, it was on nothing. Mm -hmm. It was just, we just saw the sign on the side of the road. It was like, bed, that way, and we were like, Okay, it's a perfect option. Plus we did a lot of distance today. Uh, we were supposed to do only around 200 miles and finish in Barnaul, but we ended up doing 350 miles. And now we are only one and a half hours from the Kazakhstan border. So that's positive, that's really good. Yes, yeah, so that means we can have breakfast nicely tomorrow here, and then we can just hit the road quite relaxed because we don't have too far to go. And then, Tomorrow we'll be reaching the city of Seme and there will be our first big rest stop. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yes, the holidays! <laughs> I can't wait. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.